Hi friends, welcome back to Art Tutorials. In today's episode, we are bringing you top interview question and answers on JavaScript ES6. ES6 is getting extremely popular and it's now a must have, uh, I would say, uh, the implementation in most current JavaScript projects. So if you are appearing for any front-end developer role or front-end engineering role, you are bound to be asked questions on ES6. This tutorial will help you crack that interview that you're looking for. Again, if you have any doubts, queries, ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Please, before we move on, friends, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much. Let's get started with JavaScript ES6 interview question and answers. So the first question that is often asked in interviews is, what is ES6? Have you worked on it? So ES6 is the sixth major release of ECMAScript. So it comes with a lot of features and syntaxes for writing web applications. It makes it easy. But as of now, not all browsers support ES6. So if you are asked what browsers, you can always say Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and in fact, IE 11 onwards it supports, but below that it doesn't. So to write web applications in ES6 that will support all browsers, we need to do something called polyfills or we need libraries like Babel and Webpack, which comes with polyfills. Next question is explain constants in ES6. So constants are also known as immutable variables, which are a special type of variable whose content is not changed. For example, once we declare a variable using const const keyword, then you cannot change the value. If you want to change it, you'll need to use a, a keyword called let, L-E-T. So those are the two different types of variable declarations, const and let. So whenever you use const, you should we cannot change the values. What are template literals in ES6? So template literals are the string with embedded code and variables inside. Template literal allows concatenation and interpolation in much more comprehensive and clear in comparison with prior versions. In, in ES6, concatenation interpolation is done using a backtick. So you take an example here, we are declaring two variables and we are assigning some value. And when you want to concatenate it, we are using backtick and just passing the parameters in braces. Here you can see. So this is this is how uh, template literals work uh, in ES6. All right. Uh, the next question is, what is a spread operator? So spread operator is nothing but um, it's a new way to manipulate the array and objects. Now the spread operator is represented by three dots dot dot dot. So when you put that, it becomes a spread operator. It does much more than um, it is shown, so I'm giving you some examples so you get an idea of how it is used. Now, the first use is you can, if you see uh, the first example, I'm creating an array, let let a equal to 789, b equal to 123, and then I, we are adding dot dot dot. So, which means when you put dot dot dot, it will expand the previous array. So, which means the output will now be something like it's one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, comma ten, because you have already expanded or you have replaced that array. So that's one use. So you can easily uh, enable these uh, without changing much um, details. So it's easy to work with arrays when you use spread operator. Also, another example is if you don't know how many parameters you are passing. Let's say, for example, when you define a function, we need to tell how many parameters it can take. But here we can also say that, you know, if we say dot, 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 it means it can be n number. It can be one, it can be two, any number of parameters. So that's an advantage we get. So go through this. Um, if you don't understand this concept, let me know. I can throw in some more examples for you. All right. So the next question is, what is set in ES6? So set is a collection of unique values. The values could also be primitives or object references. Now let's see how to create a new set. So it's just 
you know um, we'll use a new object called let um, and define it with a parameter uh, variable name and then followed by new object of set so here we are saying let set equal to new object of set and then we are adding dot one dot add dot key value so it becomes object so basically we can collect anything in it you can see here right so so set is nothing but when you collect unique values it becomes your set the next question is explain weak map now this is these are some of the important um, you know um, questions that are often asked so make sure you go you go through this completely and thoroughly uh, you don't miss out on these things so weak maps provides a way to extend objects from the outside without interfering with garbage collection so whenever we want to extend an object but can't because it is sealed or it's from an external source a weak map can be applied so weak map is another in feature which is introduced only in es6 so uh, yeah so if you want to extend any objects that you're getting uh, you want to use it you can always use it using weak maps the next question explain generator function now this is a um, very interesting um, feature that's got added in es6 it's because let's say if you have a method which which you need to revisit right we want to revisit this um, function with a new set of value that's when we come we consider it as a generator function so i'll give you some example and details but let me just explain it what it is first all right so generators are functions that can be exited and later re-entered their context will be saved across re-entrances a function keyword followed by an asterisk defines a generator function so remember this now whenever we define a function with the asterisk it becomes a generator function we can always revisit this function and you see here there are two statements yield i and yield i plus 10 which means the first time it will return you the same value that you pass and the second instance of the call it would give you i plus 10 so here in the example if you see first when we pass the value it will give you a value which is whatever value we pass to it like for example if we pass 10 the first output is expected to be 10 but you when you call the function again the expected output is now i i plus 10 which is 10 plus 10 20 so it's easy that when you want an incremental values that you want to consider or you want to have a function which you want to revisit generators are the best right so generate generator function all right so the next is so now this is another um, um, frequently asked question i would say in most um, app interviews which is can you list some of the features of es6 so you can list down some of these here that we discussed right now we can say there is block scope there is arrow functions and then there is extended parameter handling and then there is template literals there is extended literals and then there is spread operator there is map set there is weak map uh, there is destructuring etc so go through this list because we are going to cover some of these here in our tutorial series also so i'm sure you will learn um, all of them here all right so the next question is what is babel so babel is one of the most popular javascript transpilers and has become an industry standard it, al it allows us to write es6 code and convert it to pre es6 which means if, when you write es6 code this will automatically transpile so that you know um, it will also work with lower versions and incompatible versions so that is what makes it uh, much easier to work with and makes it worth considering in your applications so can you list down how to install babel so installation and then how to check whether you are using it correctly i'll show you that now so um, in in order to install babel in your you require node.js and npm 
now for to make sure node.js is installed in your machine and to first you check if node is installed so how do you do that you do it by writing node hyphen v so which tells node hyphen version and then once you know that node is installed then you can go ahead and install the babel script which is npm install hyphen hyphen save save dev babel cli so that is how uh, we will install the the babel uh, in our local repository now the next question is what is webpack webpack allows you to run an environment that hosts babel webpack is an open source javascript module bundler that takes module with dependencies and generate static assets representing that modules you can also think of it like this is your main configuration file for your project where you get all the all your details all your dependencies installed can you list some of the benefits of using webpack so some of the benefits of using webpack are so benefits of using uh, it bundles multiple modules into a single js file that's the most important uh, i would say striking feature of webpack it comes with an integrated dev server that's another important thing and it's it also comes with a small express app for local development you can include one javascript tag point it to the server like localhost/bundle.js get live code updating uh which is what angular uses also right so it's called hot reloading so you can have it and it all automatically reloads the entire code all right so the next one is explain destructuring assignment in es6 so destructuring is yet another feature of es6 and an improvement it allows us to extract data from array and objects into separate variables so for example here we have a variable named full name equal to john and dio right so i can easily extract let first name comma last name equal to full name so when i output first name and last name i'll get the values separately right so it's it's you can easily extract the data from one i can split basically arrays so it's easy you can even use it to assign it to a new variable or you can use it to split it so these are the two important uh, Uh, implementations of destructuring now how do you create a class in uh, es6 this is the most basic question you are expected to know and you will be definitely asked in your interview question so uh, make sure you know this question really really well how do you create a class you create a class using the keyword class now here i am giving an example where we are giving how do you define a particular um class definition so you can give class followed by the class name and then i'm de- declaring a constructor which is taking two parameters name comma age it also has a function which is get data so you can see a class can have variables it can have methods and it can have a constructor to use the class we'll create an instance of it which is what i'm doing here in the last lines var user equal to new user so i'm creating a new user object and then calling the method get data so here it's wrong actually it should not be s1 it should be user dot uh, get data i'll correct that all right so the next question is what is the use of let and const so this i explained it uh, in the starting of the tutorial also there are two different ways of creating variables one is let one is const so let is again when you want to uh, when you know that a value of a variable will change we will use let but whenever you know that there is a value which will not change which is fixed we will use const c o n s t so those are the two earlier in es till es5 we used to give var now we'll use let and const All right so that brings us to this session and first episode i hope you like it uh, so please drop me any questions or queries that you have i'll be happy to help you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me you are joining arc tutorials stay tuned i'm bringing you much much more 
tutorials to help you crack your interviews. If you need some certain topic to be covered, please do let me know. I'll be happy to cover those topics for you. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.